I need you to evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, how are you wired? When you have a trial or a tribulation, how are you wired? When you hear the word no, does it break you? you you may not eat the way you eating forever with that attitude you might not live the way you're living right now for the rest of your life with that attitude every time you have a little success you you actually get weaker every time you every time you get a goal you actually get comfortable you actually get satisfied People are taking your spot and they shouldn't take it, but because you're average, it's easy to take your spot. It's easy. It's easy to get to the place before you get there. It's easy to take that client before you get to him. It's easy. It's easy to beat you. Why? You average. It's easy to beat you. You're excited. You come to the conference. You listen to the stuff. You're excited, but let me tell you something. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do a beast. Dude. Michael Jordan only scored one more, possibly, possibly, and I don't think he did, two more baskets a game than the average person, but this guy was a millionaire and made more money than anybody else because of one shot. No, I need you to understand this. He was known around the world as one of the most popular athletes in the world, has made more money hand over foot than any athlete in the world. Why? Not because he made 10 more shots. Not because he made five more shots. The guy only made one or two more shots a game over the course of his career than everybody else. And he's better, makes more money, lived a better life than everybody because he sacrificed enough to get those one or two shots. And I'm telling you, you're not where you want to be financially and it's not going to take 20 shots. You're not where you want to be in your marriage and it's not going to take 20 shots. You're not where you want to be in your personal life. You are not the person you want to be and it's not going to take you 20 shots. For some of you, it's one more shot. For some of you, it's two more shots and you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour early and my whole life will change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop eating that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dream, dreaming and start living. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself. The day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will catch you.